I want to go to the next issue, uh, which is taxes. What is your position on taxes and why is it theft? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So my goal is to get rid of the income tax. And that would give the average family about $12,000. You know, I've been telling voters that you can spend your money better than any special interest or bureaucrat in Washington can. And so my job is to get the money out of their hands and back into the hands of the people who earned it. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And also, I saw in uh, one of your uh, interviews that you spoke about uh, making Social Security opt-in as opposed to uh, mandate. Right. Now, for the people who've paid in their entire lives, and, you know, keep in mind, these people had their Social Security deducted from their paychecks before they even Mm -hmm. got their paychecks. And so we don't want to leave them high and dry. Now, their money was not going into, you know, the lockbox that Al Gore talked about. Instead, it was being used to run government uh, to, uh, you know, for, for things that really government shouldn't have even been spending money on. So what I would do is sell a lot of those assets, such as fancy down downtown office buildings and oil rights and mineral rights, sell those and uh, give it back to the rightful owner, the people who are retired. And then for the younger people who know that they're never going to see a dime of it, give them an immediate opt out to where if they don't want to participate in the system, they don't. And the system's going to go away pretty quickly because I can't imagine anybody wanting to stay in there. You know, only the people that are near drawing it feel strongly that it should stay. Everyone else, I I don't do any of my future planning based around whether or not I'll have Social Security. And I don't think most people, uh, you know, under, under that near retirement age do. Previous episodes and more available at gunshopshow.com. 